What you're looking at here are several GIF animations that I've just inserted one after another into the HTML for this site. GIFs don't play in PDFs, so that's why I composed a little bit of HTML here for you to see these. GIFs are kind of interesting. They ordinarily are associated with very crude animations. That is, uh, animations of little winking uh, emoticons or uh, goofy little cartoon figures. But as you can see by these, GIF files do provide the ability to do something a little fancier, a little smoother motion. But these GIF files are kind of large. They're over a couple of hundred K in size. The person who put them together obviously had to spend some time doing several still images and then making them appear in rapid sequence. GIFs can present that. They are like little programs canned up as illustrations. And when they execute, when you view them, the still images are presented one after another very quickly. So it's kind of like a flipbook, and you can put photographs in there. Any kind of a digital image would work. As you can see here, these are simple drawings. Various kinds of software, GIF animation software, lets you create these things and provide some capability similar to what Digicel provides. However, GIF is not really a distribution mechanism of any consequence for things more than a few seconds long. It was never intended to be more than that, and its implementation and adoption was impeded by the fact that the originator of it, for a time, had some proprietary concerns about it and wanted to charge license fees for its use. So GIF is not present in some photo editors for that reason because of some licensing concerns. There are several software tools out there that will let you create GIF files. I wouldn't suggest getting too stoked on them. You can investigate the web and see that there's already a huge number of free GIFs out there, and creating more isn't really much of a profitable pastime. I would caution you, as you see in the writing on this screen, if you go searching the web for GIF files, as I did to create this page, just make sure your virus checker is active and it's updated. This is a real enticing way for nasty people who want to do harm to your computer to use as bait. I encountered more blockings of hostile sites and malware with my virus checker in the short amount of time that I did the searching to get these GIFs than I've ever encountered on the web with any other kind of thing that I've been searching for. So make sure that you're not going to get yourself in trouble if you go searching for GIFs as a part of this assignment.